Collins is out with yet another attack ad today, and this one goes after his opponent for not being supportive of the president. As with all the TV commercials in this race, our Michael Wooten is verifying those claims to make sure that the candidates are honest with you, the voter. President Trump is bringing America back. Jobs, growth, strength. Part of that is opinion. Is the president bringing America back? It will depend on who you ask. But it is true that the economy has added lots of jobs under this president. The unemployment rate is at its lowest mark in almost five decades. But liberal Nate McMurray doesn't like that. Some people say, oh, don't talk about the president. People like him. Bad news, I don't like him. That part of the ad is fair. Those are McMurray's words taken in context from this video he posted on Twitter back in June. McMurray hates our values. That attack is missing context. McMurray wasn't referring to the entire NRA as homegrown terrorism. His tweet that the Collins ad quickly blurred referred specifically to this video from the NRA in which its spokesperson attacked journalists. Your time is running out. The clock starts now. On the overall issue of gun rights, McMurray has said he supports the Second Amendment, and he put out a video where he is legally holding a weapon, something Collins can't do because of the criminal charges against him. Now on to the end of the ad. He's called President Trump a con artist, called him a clown and delusion. Nate's even open to impeaching Donald Trump. That last part is extremely misleading. Look at what the ad highlights. It suggests McMurray promises to vote to impeach the president. That's false. Rewind and you'll see the actual post says making such a promise would be irresponsible and wrong. McMurray has said in several public interviews that he would not vote to impeach the president based on the knowledge he has today. And he told the Buffalo News impeachment is, quote, the farthest thing from my mind. Any political analyst will tell you this is a smart strategy for Collins, tying himself to the president who is popular in the 27th district. Remember, he won there in 2016 by almost 25 points. And there is no doubt McMurray will not be as pro-Trump as Collins is. But in this case, the Republican was loose with some of the facts, just like he was in previous attack ads. With your Verify, I'm Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.